The Galena area has a rich history of drink offerings that continues to this day with Blom Brothers Distilling Company producing fine spirits in the heart of downtown. Tours of the distillery are available and the cocktail bar provides the chance to sample whiskey, gin, and vodka offerings. Also downtown is the Galena Brewing Company making 12 delicious beer styles since 2009. The family-friendly brew pub gives you the chance to taste them all along a wide menu of food offerings daily. Looking to try some wine? Galena Cellars offers tastings of over 40 varieties of their award-winning Illinois wines at both their vineyard and Main Street locations. Welcome to the Galena Bakehouse, a wonderful spot to stop and get all your fresh pastries and coffees. Started by two guys that used to live in Manhattan. How did you end up here? My mom says I'm delusional. <laughs> I know, but it, we wanted to be innkeepers. We looked all over the East Coast for a bed and breakfast and a town, and we found Felt Manor. Uh, I had to be convinced to check it out, but once I did the view, um, the historic home, it was just stunning. Beautiful Galena. But working as yes. an innkeeper and then opening your own bake shop it sounds like a lot. So you guys pivoted yeah. a little bit, correct? We, yes, we did not move here to be a bakery owner, but uh, uh, it happened during COVID. Um, COVID and innkeeping didn't really mix for us New Yorkers. So um, we wanted to bring the pastries and all of our yummy food to Main Street, to all of the locals and all of the uh, visitors that are coming to Galena. So we opened Galena Bakehouse. Galena Bakehouse and lots of goodies here. What do you guys yeah. have on the well, menu? A little bit of everything. Okay. So we start with pastries, then we have empanadas. I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, we have pastelillos in Puerto Rico. We bake our empanadas is here and then we have sweets uh, cookies macarons and local coffee local coffee okay we macarons yes macaroon is the um, circular coconut cookie sometimes okay. drizzled um, macar macaron is the meringue cookie uh, filled with buttercream uh, Macron is the is French the French president. president. Okay, yeah, yeah. the gorgeous. things you're learning here. Yes. They're all gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Yes. Right. What do you love most about living living and working here in Galena? Oh my goodness. Well, it's really fun to live here. There's always events. You can go wine tasting. You can go uh, food tasting down the street. Um, the people are Midwestern nice. It's actually a thing. Um, working here, I get to see everyone in town. I get to see all of the locals. I get to see all of the visitors, and I get to say hi and tell them where to go. It's really fun. Well, and you. You did mention wine. You guys do put some wine things together too, yes? Yes. We rent picnic baskets at Galena Bakehouse. Um, there just aren't enough seats, so you can rent a picnic basket, uh, add on an empanada meal, um, maybe a bottle of champagne or um, cans of wine. Mm. Go sit in Grant Park, enjoy the gorgeous uh, hilly views. It's stunning in Galena. And, you know, stay a while. I wonder how many romantic stories you guys are a part of. Well, I do have a couple, um, let's see, engagements yeah. at Felt Manor while we were in keeping there. Those were so special. A couple during Pride Month that they went to the Pride Steps and then the Pride Picnic. They themed it all together, came to us specifically. Um, and Jeff and I, I mean, we have grown even closer together um, while working together 16 hours a day. All right, well, we gotta go taste what's so good here. Yes, go meet Jeff. Okay, Jeff, what are we gonna be making today? Today we are making raspberry cream cheese croissant danishes, which is one of my favorite pastries wow. that we make. That's a lot of things all in one. It is, it is. It's basically a croissant that's filled with a sweetened lemon cream cheese, fresh berries, and then we're gonna bake it so it's really flaky, really uh, crumbly and delicious. Now, do you come up with all the recipes for here? Yes. Oh, yep. I learned how to bake with my mom. So some of them are mom's, Aww. but the rest are mine. So this is a recipe that I um, came up with while we were innkeepers at the bed and breakfast. We used to make it over there, and now we make it every day here at the Galena Bakehouse. I love it. You're the evil genius. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so we are going to take a square of croissant dough. Okay. We make our own croissant dough in-house, so if you look really closely, you can see all those layers of butter oh, that's yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. If anyone's doing this at home, you can also use uh, frozen puff pastry that you get at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's not going to rise as much, but you'll still get a really impressive pastry. Okay. Okay, so we are going to fold it in half like a triangle, okay. and then we're going to make two cuts. So grab your bench scraper, and we're going to make a cut on one side, and you want to leave about a half inch before you get it there. Okay. Nice, and all the way through, and then do the exact same thing on the other side, but we don't want to connect it. Oh, you don't want to connect it? You don't want to connect it, oh, so you see? want it about there, all leave right. a little gap. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and then open it up so it's a square again. And now we are going to brush it with a little bit of egg to glue it all together. 
Just the sides or the whole thing? We are gonna brush just the outside, almost like a picture frame. Okay. And now is the folding part, which is where we look impressive. Okay. So you're gonna grab this corner here and pull it up to the, the inside corner. Okay. And then you're gonna grab the same thing on the other side, that corner, and pull it to this oh, one. Oh, I see we were getting the fancy fold yeah. in there. Yeah. Not as complicated as it looks. So that is a beautiful little diamond Pretty. danish. Okay. We're gonna brush the outside of it, the top of it, with a little bit more egg. So just around the outside. Okay. And then we are also going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on that. Okay. And for the filling, you can grab your piping bag. And this is a sweetened lemon cream cheese. Yum. Um, you can basically just fill your little square that you have there. This is whipped cream cheese, um, some sugar, some lemon zest, lemon juice, and vanilla extract. Oh, you have a bigger square than I do. <laughs> That's okay. And now we're going to fill it uh, with some fresh berries. Okay. You said three. Why three? Um, three looks prettiest. Oh, okay. Okay. Boom. Oh. Beautiful. Now. So we're going to pop it in the oven, and then after they bake, they're going to look like this. Voila! So they puff up a lot. Yeah. You can see all those layers of dough in there. Um, it's a really satisfying pastry. But to finish it, do you want to sprinkle a little powdered yes. sugar on top? I'll take the powdered all sugar. Right. Here we go. All right, a little powdered sugar. Look Gorgeous. Look pretty! <laughs> Why not more importantly, can I taste it? Yes. <laughs> All right, if you guys are good, we'll bring some back to the station.